Hello everyone, this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make this uh, electrical routing for this particular racing car. So now you can see here this. So this is just an, uh, you know, practice purpose. So now you can see here, this is our uh, car model and we can see here there is a slot which the connector is going to come here and there is a one more connector near this motor and this is the connector and we are going to make a routing from this end to this end by using the connectors okay so this is the assembly i have created you can see here this is the assembly so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring a you know clips for this so we just need to provide a clips in order to make a routing so what i will do is i'll just go to assembly add component and here i'm going to go to open i'm going to add this clip okay so now you can see the clip is over here somewhere so what i'm going to do is i'll just move it so this is the one clip and i'm going to place the same clip over here as well so on this one and then we will connect to this connector okay so we need to place the connector as well here so i'm going to take the connector as well so i'll just control c control v so that is going to paste it and here i'm going to take this clip so let's move it so this is the location okay Similarly, I'll just copy this and let's and I will just move this. So along this direction, I'm going to move it. Okay. And similarly, I'll just make a copy of this and paste it here and let me move this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is there is a rib here on this rib also I'm going to place this particular clip. So I'll just copy it again and paste it and let me move this. to this point okay so suppose if you are not able to pick the point like this on the surface so you just need to go to filter here and switch on this point on a face okay so now let me move this little bit here and whatever uh, you can see this handle i'm going to switch off this so this xc handle i'm going to make a parallel with this edge okay so how we'll do this we'll just select this and we'll just select this line okay so now if i reverse this you can see it is exactly in the same angle as this rib okay so i'll just insert a little bit inside and i'll just click okay so now these are the clips that i'm going to use and uh, we have used almost five clips so based on your requirement based on your uh, you know uh, the cable you can just uh, install these clips so let me make this as a model okay so once these clips are positioned so now i need to bring an assembly for a cable routing so what i'm going to do is i'll just create a new assembly okay create a new component and i'm going to just give it as a model one and i'll just click okay so this is going to be my cable and inside this model i'm going to put two connectors so how we will put We'll just open it in a new window and here I'll just go to add component and let me open this and here I'm going to add this connector as well as this mail pin 
okay so these are the two connector i'm going to use so i'll just click okay so you can see here these are the two connectors we have so i'll just make these two as model okay so now let me go to this and uh, you can see our model is having these two connectors so these two connectors i need to position one over here and the other one is going to be here okay so for that i'll just go to expand this and we'll just select the connector and i'm not able to see which type of a connector is it so in order to see that you can just expand this preview and now you can see this is the connector so this connector has to be placed at this location so i'll just move this here and let me make it as in the reverse direction okay so this is properly placed so i'm not going to make a qualify these connectors because we already discussed about qualifying the parts so i'm not going to tell you that now so if you are not understanding how we can qualify the parts so you can just go to my previous tutorials and check out how we can qualify the parts okay so now there is a one more connector which is a male pin connector so this i'm going to move it to this location okay So now you can see uh, the two connectors are connected properly and then we also have a clips here. So now we need to create a spline path for this and we need to provide a stock. Okay. So what we are going to do is uh, we are not going to application and electrical and then we, we cannot go to spline path and create a spline path over here because this is our racing car as a work part so we don't want our routing to be created in the racing car assembly we need our routing part to be created inside this cable so this model one is our cable so inside this we just need to create the spline pass so in order to do that i'll just double click on it so that this is going to be our work part and here i'm going to create a spline path so there are two ways in order to create the spline path so i'll just show you both the ways so you based on your you know interest you can just practice any one okay so now uh, the first method is what i will do is i'll just go to spline path okay and i'm going to select this point on the particular connector so i'm not going to show how to qualify these clips and uh, connectors because these uh, qualifying the clips and connectors are already shown in my uh, electrical routing tutorial playlist i will give the link in the description you can just go to that link and check out how we can quali qualify these clips okay so now i'm going to select a point here on this connector and the next point is going to be directly on this point okay so now you can see the connectors are connected uh, directly but our path is directly connecting to one connector to another connector but what we have to do we have to pass this uh, routing along the clips so how we are going to do we are going to create a point in the middle and then we move, just move that point to this clip so we'll just select a new point here and we need to create a point here so now you can see i'm able to create a point here but suppose in your case if you are not able to pick the point so in that case you just need to go to this snap option and switch on this point on a curve if this is switched off you cannot able to pick the point okay so now i'll just select this point and i'll just move this point to this location okay now it is being moved from this location to this location but you can see our routing path is somewhere in different direction but we have to pass through this clip so to, to do that i'll just go to specify vector and i'll just select this vector okay and then we'll just extend this forward and backward extensions okay so now we can see our routing path has been taken a deviation here okay once this is done 
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a one more point here so for that i'll just go to new point and select this point and this point it should be goes along this straight y direction so i'll just give the vector either you can select it from here or you can select it from this edge anything is fine okay and then drag it okay so let me move it little bit down and move it here okay so now uh, you can see our path has to go from here so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just go to new point and select this point so this point whatever we have created i'm going to move it on this clip okay so now you can see again we need to provide a vector along this direction okay and here uh, we have one more clip on the same path so what i'm going to do is i'll just give the forward extension as 15 okay so you can see here this should come up to here okay now whatever the routing is there it has to go above this line so i'll just click ok once because if you do cancel by mistake so whatever the routing that you have created will be lost so now i'll just double click on it and we can see all the things are there so i'm going to create a one more point here similarly i'm going to make a move this point on this on this path and let me give the vector here so along this vector and here i'm going to give two and this is going to be two okay so later you can see here our routing path is going inside at this location we are going to bring this up later so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one more point from this to this clip okay So here also it is going inside so let us bring this somewhere here and create a one more point at this location okay so i'll just move this little bit here the downside and give this vector along upward direction okay and let's drag this so this looks okay now okay so now i'll just click okay and uh, if i see it in the racing car and i'll just make this reference set to entire part so that we can see this path and now you can see our path is going inside here so we just need to move it outside and rest of the things are good and in this one also we have to give some vector so that we will just take it out now so i'll just double click on it and i'll just go to a routing path okay and here what i'm going to do is i'll create one more point okay so just go to new point here and select one more point so this point i'm going to move it little bit up okay just make sure it is above the whatever the routing so we'll just move this little bit down okay so now let me give the vector for this so this is also along this edge and let me give 2 mm here and 2 mm here okay so now everything is done and now whatever the 
connector we have here it is not connected properly so again we need to give the vector for this so i'll just double click on it and select this point now and we need to provide a vector for this it should be an opposite in the top direction and we need to provide a back extension so if it is coming in the reverse direction just make it as a reverse here okay and let me take it down and click okay so similarly i have to do it on this side also so what i'm going to do is i'll just select this and select this point and my vector is going to be along this edge okay so here let me give it as a maybe 2 mm okay so if you want you can just make it more now okay so once this is done uh, we can just provide a stock for this so we'll just expand this and go to stock here and select a circular here you can go just give point 5 point 2 okay now you can just click ok and now you can see this is our routing path which is created and now you can see you can e easily able to see here this side it is going inside the component so we'll just make it up now and rest of the things looks okay okay so now how we'll do this we'll just activate the model and then we'll bring this point a little bit upward okay so this is the point which we have created and take it a little bit upward okay and click ok and now let us go to assembly and see if it is working fine okay okay so now we can see our routing path has been created properly and once this is done you can just go to model and switch this to when your cable is in the routing uh, you know reference set all the routing elements like uh, curves and points and ports everything will be visible on the work assembly so you can just switch to model when uh, you give the stock okay so if you are not giving the stock and if you choose the model as your reference set then you are not going to see the routing path okay once the stock is applied change the reference set to model okay so now you can see our model uh, routing has been completed suppose if you want to give any color for this so you can just select this or else you can just double click on it and go to here and this is the space reservation so you can just hit ctrl j and make the color to red or suppose any any other color if you want you can just choose it and make assembly as your work part okay so like i said there is a one more method in order to connect between these two connectors from one location to another location so that is going to be an easy method for you so you can choose between these these two methods so the other method i'm going to show you to you in the next video thank you guys